Okay, so we're now gonna have a look at the video tutorials on the Corporate Maths Primary website. So there's three different ways to get to the videos. Um, at the top, there's the tab, videos and worksheets. Uh, we've got the pink uh, logo here for videos. And also down here, there's also a little uh, word uh, in the categories for videos as well. I'm actually gonna show you both of them now, so uh, some of them now. So if we click on the videos and worksheets, We've got then the list in alphabetical order of all the topics which are covered currently on Corporate Maths Primary. Um, new topics are occasionally added in. Um, they generally they appear at the bottom or inserted in with sort of video 7a if need be. Okay, so here we've got all the topics. We've got video 1, video 2, video 3 and so on. So we've got addition and if we click on video 1, you'll get to see there's a video here in addition and it's just a short video tutorial. It's about six minutes long and it'll just play in a second. Hello, welcome to this video on addition by Corporate Maths and we're going to be looking at the column method of addition in this video. And you get the idea, so it sort of plays through, sort of gives the students an explanation on addition and sort of goes through some typical questions and some hints and tips whenever um, they're doing addition. Um, video 2, angle facts, if I go there and click video 2 and press play. Hi, and welcome to this Corporate Maths primary video on angle facts. Here are three very important angle facts. The angles on a right angle add up to 90 degrees. The angles in a straight line add up to 180. And so you get the idea that as sort of I go through the key facts, I then do some typical questions and show students how to answer them. Um, sort of finding angles at a full circle, full or at a point, uh, red angle, straight line, etc. Um, so yeah, so the video tutorials, um, they sort of are uh, sort of a concise explanation of the topic and it goes through from sort of addition, angle facts all the way down, bar charts, parts of circles here. Uh, you know, again, I can press play and sort of goes through the key parts of the circles that students need to know for key stage two, all the way down sort of to Roman numerals, shapes, subtraction, symmetry, times tables, types of triangles, volume, etc. Um, so yeah, so at the minute, 76 videos, uh, more sort of will be added in, sort of if needed. And yeah, so they're the video tutorials. Um, to find a topic, you can search down through the list looking alphabetically. If, for instance, you were looking for a topic, I don't know, for instance, um, you were looking for multiplying fractions, and here I've got fractions multiplying. Um, a good way to search for that is on your keyboard, you can press Control F, or if you're on a Mac, Command F, and it'll open up this search box here. And if then just type in multiplying, multiplying for multiplying fractions, you can see here we've got multiplying decimals, we've got fractions multiplying, so that's then the one that you're looking for. Um, so you can use that sort of search function on the computer, on your search, on your internet browser to help you find topics really quickly and easily. So for instance, if I was looking for Roman numerals, rather than scrolling down, I could type in or press Command F or Control F and type in Roman, and then you can see then video 55 is on Roman numerals there. In terms of the uses of the videos, there's so many ways in which the videos can be useful. Um, they can be used uh, particularly with homework, for instance, if you were going to set a video on room or set a homework on Roman numerals to the students you could put on beside it video 55 so then the parents and the students know that if they need a recap on that topic as they're doing their homework if they need that little bit of help at home then they've got the video tutorial there to help them and um, it can be useful for a revision or recapping stuff so for instance if it's a class test is coming up and you wanted to do a test on addition subtractions multiplying etc you can put down uh, give the students a list of videos two seven etc and then and they can sort of recap and learn them. Um, it can be useful for intervention. For instance, if you're in a class and just say a student was off sick or a student had missed some sort of lessons through to maybe a sporting event or whatever, and you were doing some questions on reflections and you'd cover the explanation the day before, the student perhaps could put on some headphones and listen to the explanation and get that teaching again. So it can be useful, particularly for students if they're off to catch up or, or for students off on long term sort of uh, illness, you can sort of share with, you know, um, the parents, OK, we're going to be working on prime numbers, video 51. And then you could even say and then try, you know, the questions as well. So the videos can be very useful to sort of intervene or support students that need that extra help or even catch up. It can be useful for extension as well. Let's just say in class, if you're studying Roman numerals up to 100, 
100 and you've got little Johnny who's absolutely fantastic at Roman numerals. Oh, my name's Johnny. Anyway, so you've got little Johnny who's fantastic at Roman numerals um, and you think he might need a bit of extension. You could say, okay, watch video 55 and learn up about sort of Roman numerals beyond 2000. And then he can put his headphones on, listen to that and sort of get extended or even do it at home or however, however you want him to do that. Um, it can be useful for um, whenever you're giving feedback. So if you're marking someone's work and just say a student had rounded, um, sort of, you know, done the rounding homework and they've got lots of questions wrong, um, rather than trying to explain it all on one page to the student and sort of write it all out, all the different scenarios and hope the student reads it and listens to it and so on, or reads it um, and acts upon it, uh, you could just write down um, to recap rounding, watch video 56 and then try these questions and put a couple of questions down on the page. That way the student will know where to get support on the question and the, to or the topic and also will help the parent, you know, help the student as well. Um, and yeah, and also just even sharing with parents before a term, you know, this term we're going to be working on similar shapes, video 60, and then that way the parent can sort of watch out, you know, watch that topic if they want to. You'd be surprised the number of parents that will sort of want to, you know, get involved and to watch and learn as well. Okay, so they're the video tutorials. I did say I'd show you both ways of getting to them. So if you go to here categories and you've got videos as well, uh, you've then got all the videos with the icons. They're, they're added on in an order of the most recently added to the website so the last video I've added was units um, the units video units for length and so on and you can just sort of scroll down there and you know have a look at those um, also in terms of searching sorry one of the best ways to search is here just in the search box so for instance if you're wanting to search for the edition video you could just search edition press enter and then you'll see there's the edition answers questions and there's the video so you can just click on that as well so yeah so there's some of the the ways of uh, finding the videos some of the uses of the video tutorials they're all free and any questions or if you need the list of the you know if a school perhaps has filtered YouTube I have got the white listing links so I can share that with the IT team you know to help get them on blocked or unfiltered in school if you need those as well okay